Welcome to beautiful Ruan. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. The game, of course, is The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Now, yes, of course, full admittance here. We are, um... We are here in a completely new city, so we're gonna be getting our bearings straight. So this is very likely an episode where there won't be a lot of forward progress with the main story as we look around and soak in the sights and get a feel for what's what. So just everyone's aware, be, you know, if you're, if you're um, hardwired for just the plot and forward progress, you might want to use the fast forward function liberally for this and the next episode, but yeah, let's head for the uh, Bracer Guild first, the Red Building, just to uh, set up shop there, and then we can pick up quests from there. So that's gonna be some forward progress, is going there and talking there. So don't 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 fast forward that part. But otherwise, yeah. Um, I've been playing with my mom. Cool. The Sky Bandits held me prisoner for so long. It's been ages since I've seen my hometown. Rwan's still my favorite place in the world. Oh wow, that's kind of neat. A little bit of like our actions having having like effects on the world, like an actual survivor of the whole Sky Bandit kidnapping showing up here. Very cool. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we uh, last time we found the missing bracer badge that had been stolen by that little kid whose name I actually forget. Embarrassingly enough, I don't remember what that ragamuffin was called. But we also hooked up here with. Um, Chloe, a local, um, a student at uh, Genus Royal Academy. So um, she has kindly tagged along as a guide for us because she's got business here in town, apparently. So it goes. And uh, she is actually a really nice addition to the party as an NPC because she just provides free healing for us. So that's fantastic. I assume we're about to lose her from the party once we uh, get set petting off to whatever is going to be the main plot here, but we'll, we'll enjoy Chloe's company for the time being. Now, if, look at these people here. I feel like we're about to hit a cutscene if I go here. Let's see. No? Really? This looks like a cutscene, like a walk too close and trigger a little cutscene. No, apparently not. This is an amazing view. I've seen postcards of it before, but this is my first time seeing it in person. Seeing what? What? It's much bigger than I'd expected. Hmm, this is amazing! What is it? It's it. What is it? If everyone would look, to your left is Ruan's iconic Langland Bridge. Oh, it's just a tour! That's very cute. I like that. Oh, we're, we're admiring the drawbridge, huh? Very good. When the bridge is down, it spans roughly 109 arge in length. A custom Zeissian orbital engine is used to raise it. I'm sorry, but I must show the guests around right now. Ah, oh, okay, I better not interrupt their show anymore. Let's, let's marvel. That's what they were marveling at, was this exciting bridge here. Oh, oopsies. Oh, the Bracer Guild branch is just down this way. There! That building there! Okay, okay, I got it, Chloe. Sorry, I just wanted to marvel at the bridge a little longer. Oh, okay! Well, let's check it out. I see. I, I get the feeling if I wasn't coming for the Bracer Guild right away, I wouldn't be able to do much here in town anyway, because it looks like they really want to shepherd us here to the guilds. That's fine with me. Let's go. What is going on here? There's a guy with a cool headband over there. Look at that. Good afternoon. Oh, the guy with the cool headband is maybe the receptionist? Possibly? Let's see. Huh? Where's the receptionist? Oh, hello there. Can I help you? Um... John is currently in a meeting with a guest on the second floor. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but is there something I can help you with? Uh, well, we're not here as customers or anything. Oh, the emblems. I see. So, we're in the same business then. My name is Karna. I work here at the Ruan branch. Are you new in town? I don't recognize you. 
Oh man, Karna looks so sick. Maybe it's just a head. I'm, 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 I'm easy to be impressed by headbands, I admit. But yeah. Oh man, I hope she's the party member that, that joins us. Like, that'd be so sick. Yep, I'm Estelle, Junior Bracer. Same goes for me. I'm Joshua. It's a pleasure to meet you. Estelle and Joshua. That's right. You're the new kids from Roland, then. You two were involved in some big to-do with Sherizard and Bose, weren't you? Oh, ha <laughs> Well, I don't know if I'd put it quite like that. Are you expecting us? Yes, John told me about some promising up-and-comers. But I'm afraid you can't change assignments until he's available. Why not go sightseeing to kill some time until then? I suppose so. It beats sitting around and waiting. Totally with you. Oh, yeah. Um, would you want to hang out with us a little longer? We only just met, and I'd hate to just part so suddenly. Ah, uh, certainly. So long as I won't be a bother or get in your way. Woohoo! That settles it, then. We can all go take in the sights of Ruan. And then we'll come back in a little bit. Sure, have fun! Alright, Karna, huh? You won't be able to switch assignments until John gets back. Why not go sightseeing and kill some time until then? Really? So I can't? There is a job here, though. Gull Seaway Monster. Oh! A ferocious monster known as a Jabba has been spotted roaming the Gull Seaside Way. Bracers from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. Well, if only someone would, but oh, that's right! We already beat Jabba the blut, blah, 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 back in, uh, back in our trek down Gull Seaside Way, so we already took care of one job. Hooray! I'm glad that they didn't stiff us on that assignment, then. Oh gosh, well, where to begin our tour? I don't know, let's try to be meticulous here, I guess. Let's go check out the chapel, why not? Churches are always interesting uh, sights and sounds. Oh, up there. When the sun sets in the evening, the light comes in from over the water and through the stained glass. It's quite beautiful. And since the building itself is so pretty, it's very popular with women. Yeah. Okey doke. Long ago, this area was populated mainly by men waiting to go off to sea. Through Lautzol, a magazine article described our seaside church as being nothing more than a tourist attraction. So very strange. Mysterious. Isn't it fascinating, by the way, that on the town map they mark the church for you as, like, an important feature? Even though it's not, like, we don't come here for, like, healing or buying items or anything. Like, game mechanically, the churches don't do anything in this game. But they actually still mark them out for you, like, on the map with the, like, purple mark. Another, like, nice little verisimilitude thing there that, uh, like can't help but admire to some extent. Oh, we could go down to the uh, down to the uh, canals there if we wanted to. Uh, I guess we won't. Let's go bother the locals. Hey, I know that uniform. Are you a Royal Academy student? Now that I get a close look at it, I like it even more. Okay. Ruan was originally a town of sailors and fishermen. You'd have men from around the world here, and all of them made their living at sea. I want my son to live that kind of life, too. To be a real man. Oh, that's right. You're not a real man unless you smell like salty sardines from six in the morning. I should head over to the harbor soon. There are things I want to get done. Is that the sun, or is that just some, like, freeloader in their house? Who knows? We'll never find out. I guess I should get ready for school. I've done everything I need to get done, so I can't really complain. That's my motto. Boy, that guy definitely does not sound like human oatmeal. <laughs> okay, I'm done with washing the clothes. My big brother helped me today. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, I'm sorry I ragged on this, uh, this King of the Hill character here. <laughs> 
So what is this, uh, Joan Arms and Guards? Cool. Let's see if we can do some shopping already at Joan's. Uh, yeah, talk first. Oh, hello. What a cute little bracer. Or oh, rather, a bracer in training, if I recognize that crest correctly. Wow, you sure know your stuff. <laughs> I know a few things. Okay, why don't you... Do you know anything about selling weapons? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. Hex stave, made of ultra hard wood, plain but packs a wallop. It basically, like, doubles the strength of the current weapon, so... Ooh, but, like, this will blow our budget if we start buying these. We can only afford one if we want to go that crazy. Now, Joshua's got some really sick swords, so I really... I would buy for Estelle as a priority rather than these battleards for for Joshua. But um, obviously I do want them for both of them. Ooh. Oh, Estelle's got such a crazy good jacket that even the top shield vest is worse. Wow. I completely missed that, I, that the item I equipped on her was that good. That's crazy. Because now that I look at the stats, her defense is like 30 points better than Joshua's. So yeah, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Almost feel like I'd want to buy the vest for Joshua just to up his defense now that I see that it's like that huge. The like difference there. Oh yeah, we could just convert, right. If I wanted money, we could just like... Because we got plenty of this. Oh yes, we could totally. I could just like splurge half of everything and... Yeah, I'll think about it. I haven't yet to use that option, but obviously it is an it is a function of the game. What with um, what with uh, you know, monsters not dropping any actual cash. Like that's how you're supposed to grind money is by trading sepith in. I'll keep it in mind. We've got a lot of tourists today. They don't have reservations for the hotel though, I hear. That place is booked solid. I think the Bracer Guild office is opening up to take them in. I guess that's also a Bracer assignment. So... No free going rates for the slots? Man, we could almost get Estelle's final slot open. We just need a little bit more green. A little bit of the green. Joshua's is quite a bit more expensive. Oh, that's right, we, we need to get a new Time Quartz, because that's the only thing that this slot will take. Right, right, right. So why don't we check what time quartzes are available? Hmm. 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 Okay. Wait, which one does he have at the moment? Joshua is rocking. Action 1, which is a speed increase. That's one time elemental... Two, we got three, three of that, two of this, and one on this branch. Right, this this space elemental thing gives all of these. Right, 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 right. Ooh, I got the chart open. Got the chart open in the middle. Yeah, let's really quickly ponder. Right, so it's three Earth, two Time, two Space, and one Blank. So let's really quickly take a look, see what we could work with that. If we got a three-pointer Earth, we could get Hellgate. Right away, I'm looking at that, so that's kind of neat. Yeah. Slowly working towards White Gehenna, but like, yeah, Hellgate we could, we could actually get, I think. Let's see if he's got any three-pointer. Hmm... Time Quartzes, so... Yes, he does. He's got Blind. Blind enemy. Wow! And that's on top of, we already have Poison there. So, like, Josh would just be so many, like, nasty, like, Blind and Poison enemies. A real, real assassin build there. Time to cast Arts is greatly cut. It sounds really nice, too. I might almost consider that for a still, maybe? I don't know. Man, that's expensive. 200 uh, Black Sepith to make that. 
but the value is still only three and the elemental value hmm oh gosh which one do I get you know I hmm, yeah I kind of like the idea like I do like the idea of like all these like um, awful status effects that we could be chucking that sounds funny plus you know since there's a 10 percent chance on both of them like better odds of getting at least one off if we had those two I think the fact that this costs 200 smackaroos still implies that the value here is pretty big so well you know if I wanted to be crazy I could just buy blind and cast and just swap out that action one because 10 percent speed I'll consider it I'll consider it let's get cast two now I think is the move we want to make here That took a while, sorry, I know that's also not, but I... I said I tried to avoid too much of these, like, menu finagling, but I couldn't help myself here. Too much, like, interesting stuff to think about here. So, Hellgate and Shadow Spear and Anti-Sept. What a Shadow Spear again. Oh, it's just a five-pointer. Oh, yeah, because it's three points, and we already had two. I didn't even think about that, but goodness, right. Good heavens, so that cast 2 is actually great if we want to start spamming some of these spells here. Real good, good value. I think I think I made the right choice there. Blind's funny. I'll consider it eventually swapping that for um, the, 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 the uh, action one, but um, we'll, we'll rock this for now. Anyway, this is the Hotel Blanche. The Hotel Blanche. Oh, well, hello. Welcome to the Hotel Blanche. All the rooms here boast a magnificent view of the ocean. Please, feel free to relax and enjoy our amenities. I guess that's what they mean by rest, because they did just say that the whole place was booked when we talked there at the, uh, the, uh, orb Orbament Factory. Hmm. But I guess for 90 smackaroos, we will just hang out here at the... <laughs> Here in the lounge, drinking daiquiris. Mm. Okay. We'll continue our tour. So there's this nice little point here. Oh, point with an event. Oh, the tour is continuing here with Ciel. Um, I think that's Sky in French, I believe. Is Ciel, Ecole du Ciel. Is that Gundam manga? It's like school in the sky. Uh, oh boy, I might be... Off the mark. Anyway, it's French, though. I know that much. This way is the park built to commemorate the end of the Hundred Days War. Okay, I have a question for everyone. As you know, you'll be right in front of the Royal Palace if you cross the Ruban River. That's where the ships of the Imperial Navy were defeated during the Hundred Days War. How was it done? I know! Go ahead. <laughs> I've got it! Too easy! They use the cannons that are all over Ruan City, right? Mm, not quite. There certainly is plenty of artillery here, but we still can't withstand a heavy Imperial attack on that alone. I'll give you a hint. They employed a much more dynamic method. Oh, I know, I know! And go! What is the answer, miss? They lowered the Langland Bridge? Oh, so sorry, that's incorrect. Power to the city had been knocked out at the time, so the bridge was stuck in the raised position. Mm. Here is the answer. Many old and decommissioned ships were sent from upriver to be detonated and sunk. Since the mouth of the river is so shallow, the Imperial ships couldn't break through. Wow, that's cool, but it seems a little bit much. Extreme if you ask me! Well, we are done for the day now, so you are free to do as you wish for a while. Please have fun until it's time. Cool, hey, we learned some more stuff, that's an interesting tactic. I brought my father and my daughter here to Rouen. Ha <laughs> ha! Fortunately, everyone's been getting along well. 
rather third. <laughs> so that's a, it's a family, huh? Cute. Ah, oh, yes, I see. The royal army is quite impressive. I don't know why my dad has to be so stubborn. I don't know. Let's see. I guess I should escort everyone to the hotel by now. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that was just an informative lesson in what goes on here in uh, here in uh, Rouen. Now we can go to the casino. Now we're talking. What's that about a casino and a bar? Huh. I thought the airship trouble was gonna ruin the business meeting. Glad I rushed here from Bowes. Not too long ago, I ran into this really fast monster on the beach. When I tried to kill it, I actually broke my sword on its hide. Oh, it may be small, but it's tough. Oh man. Eh, hey, what do we have here? Are you orcs? Travelers? Word to the wise, stay away from the warehouse district. We've got some real unsavory types hanging out down there. Okay, I guess I'll keep that in mind. So we have a salmon menier, which we already have the recipe for, so we're good. But we could buy an azelia rose, heals 500 HP and cures KO. Hmm. A refreshing cocktail made from a pungent fruit juice. It's a lovely word, pungent. Guess we'll just drink one of those real quick to learn the recipe. Okay, Azelia Rose. We need two Azelia fruit and some vintage wine and a Lucky Fang. That one, last one's gonna be a little hard, isn't it? Where do we get a Lucky Fang? Hmm. Laventar Casino and Bar. Newly modeled casino to reopen just in time for the Queen's birthday celebration. Ah oh, damn it! I can't work the one-eyed, one, one-eyed, one-armed bandits yet. The place is closed. Damn, they've got everything here, including roulette, which is actually really stupid. I don't know why people play roulette. Like the odds of hitting one of these numbers is so microscopic. What the freak? I don't know. Sorry, guys. Impromptu roulette rant here, but I do not see why anyone would like even fancy the odds of this game. Uh. Blackjack, though. Sign me up, baby. <laughs> Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. I'm planning for the grand reopening of the Laventar Casino and Bar to coincide with the Queen's birthday festivities. Right now, the entire second floor is being remodeled. Interdusting. Oh, we'll be back here once uh, there's a little bit more action available. Ooh, lovely seafront patio here. Hmm, yeah. Ooh, yes. I dig this establishment. Did I talk to this guy? I think I did. Yeah, he was talking about, like, stuff. I don't remember. He was, like, moving stuff or something. Finally, what's this store? It's a duty-free shop. Sweet! No taxes! <laughs> That's actually really funny. The tourist place actually has a duty-free shop. I love it. Seems to be a patisserie with all these uh, breads here. Ahem! When I was young, Naria Mira to my name, I sailed around the world on a trading ship. Once upon a time, Ruan was full of men with the same drive. Oh, that's it? You're just gonna rant about the good old days? Okay. <laughs> hey, the Liberal News. Do we? Oh, we already have issue one. Never mind. Alright, now let's see. What do I need? I need some more rice. We've been using those a lot. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, some vintage wine. Good, 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 good. Ooh, eating through our supplies here, but we definitely need to be lugging this wine. Milk's good, eggs is good. Oh yeah, cheese. Hook me up with some more cheese, please. Orange is good. Uh, apple's fine. Ooh, flour is fine. Steak's also great. Man, the vintage wine, by the way, freaking 300. Even worse than the steak. Guess that checks out. Although that makes me wonder even more why the miso costs that much. Good heavens. Anyway, mm, potatoes are fine. Oh, yes, I've got a lot of potatoes here, if you'd like to consider those. Onions is fine. Carmine eyes. No, that's the recipe, sorry. Dirty carrots is fine. Maple sugar, yeah? 
Ooh, we could get a couple of, a couple of smidgens of salt. Hmm. No, Popeye is fine. Dragon beans. Oh yeah, these were for coffee. Hmm. Uh. Yep, our stocks are fine. Thank you, O'Neil. All right, so we can keep sightseeing. We've got a south block and a landing port. Let's check out the landing port. Probably gonna be a little easier to navigate that. Anytime the airships are grounded, I get absolutely flooded with inquiries. Of course, even when everything's running perfectly smoothly, I'm still busy. Now, well, at least it's not boring. Oof, excuse me there. Oh yeah, hold on, is this the warehouse district we were supposed to avoid? Oh no. What if we run into some unsavory types? <laughs> I think we'll manage. Man. Another thing you gotta kinda give props for, it's not a big deal, but the fact that they model this huge area, where really there isn't much going on here, it's just like the place like this. Uh-oh, what's going on here? I'm in the middle of performing maintenance right now. It's not a problem yet, but just to be safe, I need you to swap out plugs 4 and 7. Make sure you check the orbital pressure in the process. Got it. Todd, you go down to the warehouse and get the fresh plugs. Uh, yes, sir. Why are they employing this child? Uh, I'm a mechanic trainee. Okay, well, um, good, good luck with that sport. Uh. All right, well, that was actually kind of fun. Didn't hate that place. All right, let's cross the Langenblangen Bridge. Oh, Langland, that's right. Oh. Oh, hey, look, we got the actual sightseeing cutscene we wanted. Perfect. Whoa. This is the Langland Bridge? Oh. It's wide shot. I love it. Because you can't really appreciate it from that angle. Just walking across. Whoa. It sure is huge. It's got to be twice as big as the Vert Bridge. It was built more than 40 years ago. Before then, people used to have to take a ferry from one shore to the other. Why didn't they build a bridge sooner? The Rubine River is the only body of water linking the lake to the ocean. Ships have to be able to reach Granzel, don't they? Very astute. It wasn't possible to build the bridge until after the Orbal Revolution 50 years ago. I get it. Orbiment power, right? But it looks almost like it just popped out of nowhere. The drawbridge is raised three times a day. The next time should be... sometime this evening, I think. Cool! We need to see that. Agreed. Nice little trivia. Yeah, I guess you can't just raise drawbridges, raise and lower them willy-nilly. Yeah, makes sense. Uh-huh, so down to the south is the Orion Causeway. Presumably, I'm assuming that's the road out of town heading towards Erlit and, and Zeiss, eventually. Hmm. Yeah, I see now. Yeah, it's a big river right there, and it leads right on over there into Valyria Lake. So this is like the route for ships to get to Gransel. Eh, that makes sense. Um, there's a, there's a shop here. Let's check out this place to the right first, at least a couple of places. See what's shaking here. Oh, there's a person there. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. I'll be back in a minute, everybody. The far side of the river has seen a lot of growth lately, mostly centered on trade and tourism. The arbor facilities in the residential district have been side by side for a very long time. Okay, well, you you enjoy the views there, madame. Uh, now we're gonna go bother these people in their homes. Hello! My father can be kind of offensive. Which works both to his advantage and detriment. My mother doesn't always say the right things either. Why is this character called Logic? That's so weird. My husband is the harbor master, but he's a bit of a coward. He's popular and reliable, but I wish he'd be a little more confident. Huh. Okay, is the harbor master up here? Okay, I need to head over to the harbor. 
Ugh. As Harbor Master, I should definitely not have to put up with such nonsense. Okie dokie. Very curious people here, I feel like. Strange family. Okay. 